soft delicate and classy is what today's painting is all about the colors is so sophisticated neutral blend but stunning i do love it guys i use the spoon swipe technique to create these beautiful dahlias along with the green leaves check out today's painting guys you're gonna love it hello everyone it's camille welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today i'll be working with some neutral and soft colors champagne gold pink um, espresso brown pearl white and rose gold and i'll be doing this on a 16 round inch canvas also guys for my green it's emerald green by deco art and yellow green by artist loft so do check out today's painting. It's just amazing. Um, I do love this color combination. It's so elegant, so stunning. And you know, the fact that you can use a spoon to create such a beauty is just amazing. So I do hope that you guys can get to watch the video um, to the end. Of course, you know, I do have the close up of the wet result and the dried result. So stay tuned guys, do not go away. For those not sure, yes, I do have a base coat on the canvas. It is um, Artist Loft, Artist Loft um, White. And uh, how I mix my paint, you guys can um, check it out in the description box below. But I do mix it um, one part paint to three parts uh, pouring medium. And I do add, you know, you could add water to thin, you know, or you can add the latex extender just to thin it a bit to get to the consistency that you want. Okay, the paint should not be too thin. All right, guys, if it's too thin, it's not going to work properly. And you're going to have too much paint remaining on the canvas when you swipe with the spoon. Okay, so these are just some important tips that, you know, you guys can check out. If not, go ahead, check out my video number 76 and 78, my white dahlia and my purple dahlia where I go more in depth um, in those two videos. Okay, so I know today's video is a bit long, but, you know, this was, uh, I was doing various flowers and you know it does take a while and um you know even if i'm doing one it's still it's it takes time to do this technique and this is why i love it because you get to control a bit of the design that you want you know by just taking your time and just doing you know um what you can with the spoon okay so it's for everyone to give a try. I am so inspired to share this with you and I do hope you like you love it. And um, you know, give me a thumbs up if you do guys. You know, I would really appreciate it. You know, share with your friends and family. And you know, if you haven't subscribed as yet, do go ahead and subscribe because you know what guys, I do post um weekly at least two or three times a week. And you know, you have to hit that bell, hit all so that you are notified each time I post a new video. So of course guys, go ahead and subscribe. And um, yeah, it's free and it means the world to me. So go ahead and do that guys. Thank you so much. You guys know, if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I love my bright colors, right? So for me to be working with this color palette today, it's, it's just different for me, but I wanted to do something a bit um, elegant and soft and just delicate and just, classic at the same time that's that's um i just got this inspiration you know actually i was watching a movie over the weekend and um i just saw this beautiful bouquet and it's just so soft and i'm like i love that i love the way they decorate the home with the colors and stuff and then i thought you know i'll just try and capture those beautiful soft color palette um for today's painting you know and then even with the green that i'm working with i haven't done um the leaves swiping with the spoon before this is my first time this is my first attempt i just thought i'll just go for it you know usually i'll just put the paint on canvas and blow it out with a straw to create beautiful leaves but i thought you know what why not try with the spoon and i'm loving it I love the design and everything about it so you know guys this could be something that you want to give a try in the future you know so of course 
feel free to give it a try guys it's just a beautiful technique and i do want to mention to guys that all my artwork they are available for purchase and um, you can reach me at camilamoy at gmail.com or you can send me a message on my instagram camille.amoy.art thanks so here i am starting off with the first dahlia and i'm using the rose gold and the espresso brown um those are the only two colors i use for this particular dahlia that i'm swiping and of course guys like i always say the way your layer colors will create that 3d effect and you know that's very important so i did start off with the lighter color which is the um the rose gold and then i add the, the darker color which is the espresso so you know and it's just a beautiful um, flower guys and it's just amazing i'm so in love i do love it and i do hope you guys love it too someone also asked me on facebook um if um you know if i when i draw the line if it's necessary you know to make the petals of the dahlia more defined you know in the beginning i didn't do that but after a while i just thought you know i could just use the back of my skewer and just draw a line between each petals and just bring it inwards and it helps to give it a clean look you know what i mean guys i mean if you do look at it um it, it gave the petals a little bit more you know it makes it more defined so I do it um, you don't have to but I never used to you know I, I don't really do it all the time but it's become a practice now guys so you know it's something that you as you go you adjust and it's a part of the process so I, I'm loving it and as you can see here I'm just dipping um, the white because sometimes the paint do pull in the middle. So if you do find that you have too much paint in the middle of the dahlia, the flower, you know, just um, just try and get rid of the excess because you really don't want too much paint on the canvas, you know, because it will, while drying, it could shift the form, the design, the shape of the flower. And this is how I, I was able to maintain um, the flower remaining crisp and clean and dry beautiful at the end so i don't really use too much paint and I, like i say guys i do adjust you know because it's not all my dahlias come out the same so i do adjust as i go i learn as i go to even though i create this technique but i do learn as i go so you know have fun with it guys that's all i have to say have fun with it and just trust the process thanks so I did add some smaller dahlias as well and I do this because I want to create make it a little bit more interesting you know of course when you see a bouquet it has you know different shapes style varieties and stuff even though I'm only working with the dahlias right now because you know I'm using the spoon so you know it's just beautiful to go with different shapes and stuff like that too different sizes so here I am just doing all that and to make it a bit easier for you if you can get a smaller spoon like I'm using a mini spoon right now and it helped to create those um, uh, smaller petals making it more defined. This painting took me over an hour and a half or maybe more to do um, you know so I had to speed this up you know at least times four because I know the attention span of viewers <laughs> it's very short and I don't want to you know I don't want you guys to see my video being oh my god over 30 minutes and then oh I'm not gonna watch Camille's video 30 minutes I'm not gonna sit and watch that but I mean you know what I am sharing this to those who really um, want to learn or who wants a demo who wants to see how I do my thing you know I'm, I'm sharing it for those who are, are interested and in seeing um, the whole process so hey Thank you for you know sticking around and staying with me and of course guys i'm just gonna go away now and i will see you for the close-up of the wet result and the dried results so don't go away guys thank you
here it is the close-up so you know I had to add those extra green um, leaves I'm so happy I did you know it gives it a little bit more um, definition it makes it more full and so clean oh my gosh and oh I forgot to, to mention this that they these are all metallic so you guys can see the shimmer in this and at the last minute I did add some gold um, 24 karat gold to this it wasn't a part of my original plan but I thought you know what let me just put some bling in it so I did add the gold last minute uh, thing but yeah check it out you know seeing how soft and beautiful the, the colors are against this beautiful green I'm not sure what's pulling my eyes more it's like I'm just looking at the green I'm just loving the leaves <laughs> and I'm also loving that um that dahlia that has the white that's the pearl white and the um the espresso like it's just so elegant those are my two favorite that that one with the espresso and the gold um the rose gold they're just amazing i do love it guys and i do hope that you know you guys can give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in the comment section below let me know how you guys feel about this one thank you And here is the dried beautiful result dried well guys I'm so loving it you know the colors remain just as stunning and elegant and oh my gosh you know it's amazing I did add some glitter some Marty Stewart glitter um, to the center of the dahlias and it's just popping it's amazing you know um, I'm loving it guys there's no varnish on this or no resin on this as yet it's just the natural beauty of these colors and um, you know use uh, different color palettes guys you know use bright colors use soft colors challenge yourself and of course check out my playlist guys if you do um, want to learn more and I will see you guys next time on Camila my art bye